Hello friends. In this video, we are going to learn about the EXIF tool. EXIF tool is used to extract metadata embedded in videos and images. So, in order to use this EXIF tool, first of all, you will have to install this EXIF tool on your Kali Linux machine. For this, you will have to type sudo apt get install exif tool and hit enter so it, as i have already installed this exif tool on my kali linux machine so i don't need to reinstall it but first of all you will have to run this command on your kali linux machine in order to install this exif tool the image I am going to use for the purpose of demonstration is this image. I have shot this image from my Redmi 4 camera. So let's see what information we can extract from this image. So we will have to type exif tool and hit enter name of the file and hit enter so i have typed exif tool and then the name of the file name of the image so as you can see we can see the file size is 2.3 mp file name is this and the access and modification date is this and uh, let's see what other information we can extract from this so as you can see the camera model name is redmi 4 so this is a very important information and if we go further down we can extract other useful information that the original date and time when this uh, image was clicked is this so this image was clicked on the 31st of october and if we further go down we can see that the company who makes this mobile is Xiaomi so but uh, we are not able to extract the GPS data we are actually interested in the GPS data of the image for so for the purpose of demonstration I will use some image from the internet let's open a web browser and type <coughs> sorry <coughs> geotag images and go to this website Let's go to the sample photos. So, for the purpose of demonstration, I will use this image Dingle Town in Ireland. As you can see, its uh, latitude and long long longitude information here. So, I will download this. Uh, let's click on show photo and let me download this save this image on the desktop so if you are the owner of this website and watching this video then 
I'm only using this image for the purpose of demonstration. So if you want me to remove this image from the video, then just comment below or send an email. I will remove this image from the video. So let's again go to the terminal and clear it and again type as if tool ir and now as you can see we are able to extract the gps latitude and gps longitude information from this video now we can use this uh, latitude and longitude information to locate this locate the location of this image let's again go to the web browser and uh, type geo coordinates click on this website now let's enter the latitude and longitude information here as you can see 52 degrees fifty two degrees and this eight here and then twenty one point forty twenty one point forty north it is north then ten degree sixteen inch 10 degree 16 inch and then 28.54 28.54 west so it is west and let's click get add address so as you can see we are able to locate this image So the image was this. Let's open this image. As you can see, it is a street, and here is a store by the name of Harrington's Family Restaurant. Let's try to get further information. Let's. Uh, zoom in so we are here and let me click on the street view I think we need to enter this information again since the this uh, has the website has reloaded so let let's enter this information again to do it then 21.40 north and 10 degree 16 10 degree 16 and then 28 28.54 28.54 west so let's again check if this information is correct okay the information is correct and let's click on instant street view so as you can see right now we are on the exact location let's try to 
find out if we are at the correct information or not correct location or not so if i zoom around if i turn this image then you can see that there is here is this harrington family restaurant and if we watch this image you can match this image with this street view on the google map so we are we have successfully tracked down the exact location from where this image was clicked with the help of this exif data which we have extracted from this image now the question arises what if the street map view is not available on that uh, particular location so what we can do here is that we can go to a website called mapillary and explore map data and let's go to the island since you know this image has been shot in the island so right now we are so this is the island country and uh, let me open that uh, website again uh geo coordinates this is the country island let's again enter the information 52 8 21.40 Then ten sixteen twenty eight point five four twenty eight point five four. Click on get address. So if we zoom out. we can see the we can actually track where this uh, image has been clicked so let's again go to the mapillary and just zoom in click on this plus sign and let's try to match it with this image So as you can see, you can uh, clearly see that. Let's try to match this shape with the shape here. Let's further zoom in.
let this map load so as you can see this this uh, Harrington's restaurant is located here and if you try to match it with this information here let's zoom out first then it should be somewhere here so let's zoom in here And let's again try to let's zoom in here again as you can see this shape here let's try to match this shape with the shape on this map here so it should be somewhere here zoom in Let's zoom in here also. You can see this. Restaurant is located right in front of this line. Something somewhere here. So we can use this information to track this on this location here. So it should be somewhere here. So if we click here. Let it load. If we go ahead and turn this, let's try to see it. Let's try to see from this image here. This is another restaurant. Further, further. And it should be somewhere here. I click on this image right in front of here.
So if we turn around this image, you can see that Harrington's family. So we have successfully tracked down the location of this image again using this mapillary website. You can use this website just in case if the Google Street View is not available on that particular location. The only difference here is that the building, the, the color of the building has been changed. In this picture the color is white but if we see here the color is yellow. So maybe the owner changed the color later or uh, or the this image was shot quite before the, uh, the uh, this image has not been updated so this is how you can use this uh, exit data tool to extract important information from any image that's all for this video. See you in the next video.